I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd and I'm here with another black nerd chat for you. Thank you guys so much for all the responses you gave me back on my last black nerd chat about Sonic and Smash Brothers. I'm glad you like this more casual style. I'll be more than glad to do more of these since you like them. And today I'm going to be talking about this new device and a commercial that came with it. The Samsung Galaxy Gear. This is a watch slash communicator that you can wear on your wrist and whenever anyone calls you or sends you a text message or anything on your phone, you can literally check it on the screen on the Galaxy Gear and it also accepts voice commands so you can reply back to it. If someone calls you, you can actually talk to them on the wrist communicator. You can talk into it and you can also hear them. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm actually wearing it. I don't know why am I doing this. It's like, there's nothing here. It's like camouflage. <laughs> on the wrist strap, it has like a little camera. So you you can actually take pictures with it. So that's cool if you're, you know, a creeper at Comic-Con. Ooh, cute cosplay. Click. <laughs> they just hide it. Just like, nothing here. No creepers in this part of the place. When I first heard about this device a while back, I was like, no. Oh man, I can't reach into my pocket again. My phone is so hard. If only I just had something on my wrist to just talk because, oh, it's so far away. It's like, seriously, are we that lazy? I am not getting this device. No. And then the magic of advertising showed this commercial. So they made this commercial for the Samsung Galaxy Gear with their big announcement about it. And the way that they advertised it, they're basically saying like, look, we should have had this a long time ago. This is a long time coming. Look at these examples to prove that we should have already had this. And the examples they use are popular watches and wrist communicators from various nostalgia movies and television shows. That They hit that nostalgia bone, boy. They're like, we're gonna get you. You got the Jetsons device. That's probably one of the first wrist communicators I've ever seen is the one in the Jetsons cartoon. I always would love that like a little satellite would just pop up at the top of it when George would be calling his wife or Elroy and just be like, hey Jane, sorry, Mr. Spacely's fired me again. Rush rad, George. I still love you. Jetson, you're fired. <laughs> Jetson's Theater. Of course you got Star Trek Communicator. Gotta show that one. That's given. They also show the Knight Rider Communicator, you know, that Michael used to talk to Kit. I kinda want that. Well, I want to be able to just be like, start the car, and the car actually starts. I also want my car to talk like Speed Buggy. Is that weird? Is that when I get in my car, I just want to be like, hey, 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 what do you want to go today? I'm ready. Why am I so weird? They show the Predator wrist communicator, which kind of freaked me out. If you ever see anybody with that walking around, you need to get out of Dodge. You about to die. Get to the chopper. They also show the Dick Tracy wrist communicator, which I thought was really cool because when I was a kid, one of the cable channels used to show reruns of the Dick Tracy cartoon. Yes, all the episodes, including the very racist ones with the Asian and Mexican stereotypes. But back then, who knew? We, was, we were just funning. My mom actually found a replica, like a toy, that was based on the Dick Tracy wrist communicator. And she bought it, and I thought she was gonna buy it for me, so I was all excited, I was like, I'm gonna be Dick Tracy. And she's like, no, I'm not buying this for you, I'm buying it for your cousin to give to him on Christmas. And I was so devastated, I was like, re, re, you've seen me sitting at home watching Dick Tracy cartoons, I played the video game, and it was terrible, I watched the movie, I, I, I'm Dick Tracy. She gave it to me, but no, she gave it to my cousin. Turns out, cousin didn't even like Dick Tracy and like broke the device and threw it away in a corner somewhere and didn't even use it. I feel like I just gave you some, some therapy here. I feel like I just <laughs> tapped into a dark part of my childhood just now. I just wanted that communicator so I could be Black Dick Tracy. <laughs> That sounds terrible. That sounds like a porn star name. Black Dick Tracy. He doesn't need to know who done it. He done it. And by it, he means the ladies. Black Dick Tracy! Black Dick Tracy. So this YouTube thing doesn't work out, guys. I already got my second career plan. Black Dick Tracy. Coming to theaters. <laughs> Oh, terrible. Moving on. Let's move on to Penny from Expect the Gadget. That's a great segue, right? The one that Penny would use to talk to Brain is in this. That was one of my favorites. That's probably one of my most memorable ones, other than the one that I'm going to talk about after this. Penny running around talking to Brain on a communicator, and she'd be like, Brain, I'm inside Dr. Claus hideout. We gotta figure out how to turn off this device. And then Brain would be talking back. He had a little coming off of his collar and be like one piece in his ear, one in his mouth, and he'd just be like, la, 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 la. and she would understand what he's talking about. I think that somehow that wrist communicator had some sort of device in it that would allow her to hear in English whatever Brain was saying. And let's not even get started on that book that she carried around as well. I'll say that for another day. Inspector Gadget is always on duty. Wowzers. And of course, you can't talk about wrist communicators without showing one of the most popular wrist communicators of all time, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers wrist communicator. When I was younger, I used to sit around and be like, let's call Zordon. Do, 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 do. Uh, well, <laughs> that's a joke, not like I wasn't outside playing Power Rangers. Let me get that clear. You see a lot of people nowadays actually have that sound as like their message ringtone. Like if they get a new message on their phone, it goes, dee, 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 dee. 
you ever go to a Power Rangers convention, uh, change that notification ringtone because everybody at the convention will have it. Like every single time I was walking around Power Morph Con, I was like, Next time I go to Power Morph Con, I'm gonna change mine to go, We are, we are VR, we are, we are VR troopers, VR virtual reality troopers. <laughs> Or three typical average kids inside a haunted mansion. Just by chance, free to ghosts and BK Beetleborgs. Big bad Beetleborgs. <laughs> That's my ringtone. So one of the commercials shows all the clips from various shows to use in the communicator, and the other one shows like this montage of replicas of all the different communicators. I thought that one was really sweet. It's kind of almost like a, a history of communication through fictional devices. I still don't know if I'm gonna get this thing, especially because right now it only works for the Galaxy Note 3. It's supposedly gonna have an upgrade to be able to use it for the Galaxy S4, which I have. So I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. And even when they upgrade, oh, I don't know. But I do have an idea. I think it'd be awesome if they made some custom Galaxy Gears that looked like the devices that they showed in these commercials. Because I can tell you right now, someone's going to buy one of these things and make it look like a Power Rangers wrist communicator. That is going to happen. We all know that that's going to exist. So I'm just saying, you jump the gun, Samsung, so I can walk around feeling like a Power Ranger being like, what is this, Zordon? Yes, I will check my email. I will pay my bill by the 15th. It's morphin' time. Domestic lifestyle. Power Rangers domestic force. What is it, Zordon? Ay, 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 ay. You have to pick up your son from soccer practice. Ooh. And then Rita comes out. Ah, I will make sure they never make the soccer practice. Get me a monster fenster. Ooh, yes, Rita. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Is that my Goldar? We must stop the soccer practice. Ooh, ooh. I will sit down a monster and fight the Green Ranger. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> now I want to hear from you. What kind of fictional device from a movie or television show or a cartoon would you like to have in real life? Somehow I feel like I'm going to get a lot of answers that say Back to the Future 2 hoverboard that actually hovers. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Come, Mad Cat. We will dispose of Gadget. I love cartoons. <laughs>